Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the fascinating tales of history's most intriguing figures. Today, we're exploring the enigmatic story of Giuseppe Tardini, a renowned composer whose encounter with the devil in a dream left an indelible mark on his life and work. Giuseppe Tardini, born on April 8, 1692, in Pirano, was a renowned composer. His parents wanted him to become a Franciscan friar, which is where he received his basic musical training. He also studied law at the University of Padua and became skilled at fencing. Tartini's life took a turn when he secretly married Elisabetta Premazor, a woman of lower social class. After his father's death, Tartini was charged with abduction and fled to the monastery of St. Francis in Assisi to escape prosecution. There, he studied under Bohuslav Matej Cernohorsky. In 1721, Tartini was appointed Maestro di Capella at the Basilica di San Antonio in Padua. He also directed the orchestra of the Chancellor of Bohemia in Prague between 1723 and 1725. Tardini was the first known owner of a violin made by Antonio Stradivari in 1715. Tardini composed over a hundred pieces for the violin, most of them violin concertos. His most famous work is the Violin Sonata in G minor, also known as the Devil's Trill Sonata. Despite the success of the Devil's Trill, Tardini felt a sense of inadequacy. He felt that his composition was but a pale imitation of the melody he had heard in his dream. The Pact with the Devil in a Dream. It was in the year 1713 when Tardini, in the depths of slumber, found himself ensnared in a surreal pact with the Prince of Darkness. In this ethereal realm, the Devil, assuming the guise of a virtuoso violinist, seized Tartini's instrument and commenced a performance of unparalleled brilliance. The Overwhelming Performance. As Tardini bore witness to the Devil's mesmerizing rendition, he was overcome by a potent amalgamation of awe and trepidation. The Devil's fingers danced upon the strings with preternatural dexterity, weaving a tapestry of melody that transcended mortal comprehension. Unraveling, the Devil's trill. Transcribing the otherworldly melody. Upon awakening from his haunting reverie, Tardini was consumed by an insatiable desire to immortalize the sublime strains that had echoed within his dreamscape. With trembling hands and a heart heavy with reverence, he endeavored to transcribe the ethereal melody that had enraptured his soul. Recognition as a masterpiece. The resultant composition, christened The Devil's Trill, stands as a testament to Tartini's consummate skill and boundless imagination. Revered by musicians and aficionados alike, this opus embodies the convergence of divine inspiration and mortal craftsmanship. A bittersweet realization. Despite the acclaim that greeted The Devil's Trill, Tartini found himself haunted by a gnawing sense of inadequacy. In the shadow of his infernal encounter, he perceived his magnum opus as a mere echo of the transcendent beauty that had graced his dream. Tartini's ongoing struggle. Contemplating the abyss. Tormented by the dissonance between reality and reverie, Tartini grappled with existential anguish. The gulf between his mortal endeavors and the celestial symphony of his dreams seemed insurmountable, casting a pall of doubt upon his artistic endeavors. The temptation of abandonment. In moments of profound despair, Tartini contemplated forsaking his craft altogether, disillusioned by the immutable chasm that separated his aspirations from his achievements. The siren call of resignation beckoned, promising respite from the ceaseless torment of artistic ambition. Conclusion, a legacy transcending time. The tale of Giuseppe Tardini and The Devil's Trill serves as a poignant reminder of the enigmatic nature of artistic inspiration. In the crucible of Tartini's imagination, the boundaries between the mundane and the sublime blur, yielding a legacy that endures across centuries. In commemorating Tartini's indelible contribution to the pantheon of musical genius, we are compelled to confront the ephemeral nature of human endeavor and the enduring power of the creative spirit. Stay with us at Celestial Chronicles as we delve deeper into Tartini's psyche and the legacy of The Devil's Trill. How did this haunting experience influence his life's work? What lessons can we draw from his relentless pursuit of musical excellence? Unravel the mysteries of Tartini's dream with us, and discover the timeless allure of a melody that bridged the gap between heaven and hell.